Happy Halloween season, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make the jack-o'-lantern from Halloween 6, aka Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers. This will be a do-it-yourself tutorial, so I'm going to be using fast methods and cheap materials to achieve what I think turned out to be a fantastic end product. There are probably many better ways to perfect this process, and I invite you all to help us refine the method in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and enjoy. Here we have a medium-sized craft pumpkin bought at Michael's Craft Store for 50% off the tagged price, but you can use any brand of carvable craft pumpkin you'd like, and any size for that matter. I'm simply using this size for screen accuracy. You're going to want a hot knife for carving through the rigid foam of the pumpkin, but a finely serrated knife would also work, as would a Dremel tool, but I find the hot knife to be much more effective and of course, faster. You are also going to need a marker. Doesn't matter if it's permanent or not, nor what color. It will simply be for tracing our jack-o'-lantern face. Start by drawing your face based off the Halloween 6 jack-o'-lantern, of course. I'm looking at a movie still of the pumpkin on my computer as I sit at my desk and try as hard as possible to match it. You don't have to be a fantastic artist to do this. You just have to get as close an approximation as possible. After you finish your design, it's time to plug in our hot knife, let it heat up, and begin carving away, being sure to remain just on the outskirts of our design to ensure all the marker is gone with the removal of the carved pieces. Also, be careful with said hot knife or whatever instrument you're using. Me using a sharp object so close to my body as I'm doing here probably isn't the best example, so please keep that in mind. After the face is fully carved, cut and remove the stem as you would a regular real-life jack-o'-lantern, and then we are ready to move on to the next step. It's time to get into paints. I'm using cheap acrylic paints for this DIY, but you can use whatever type you want, of course. It doesn't really matter as long as the colors are correct. We're going to be using brown, yellow, orange, and black, but we'll start with brown. Dribble some of the brown onto a paper towel and begin blotting the pumpkin, making it look dirty, dingy, and freshly picked from the pumpkin patch. This griming up stage is absolutely optional if you want your pumpkin to remain pristine and shiny looking. However, I enjoy this look. After you've finished blotting it brown, it's time to blot it yellow, repeating the same process again until you've coated the entirety of the form. Repeat the process again with orange and you'll be left with a perfectly gritty and grimy jack-o'-lantern, but we are still far from done. This is again an optional step but I wasn't a fan of how pristinely clean and yellow the inside of the gourd was, nor the shade of yellow itself, so I painted the inside with two coats of acrylic black. See how menacing that looks? If I were not going to be placing an LED candle inside for effect, I'd leave the inside of the jack-o'-lantern black and the process from here would be complete. But since I do want to light it up, leaving him jet black simply doesn't work. As you see here, when I place the candle inside, the black eats all of the reflecting light. Using yellow, Dab one thin layer atop the black with a brush, and you're left with a dingy, unclean looking inside, and is exactly the effect I was looking for. Be sure not to forget the interiors of the carved face either when executing the process for the pumpkin's interior. The eyes, nose, and mouth all need the same black and yellow treatment. Also, if you want to get real funky, water down some of your black and orange paint mixed together and dribble it down the lines of the pumpkin and blot dry. This will give them deeper and darker shades and really bring out the pumpkin's depth and shape. Optional though, of course. Now that your interiors and exteriors are fully painted and dry, it's time to glue in our candle. Please do not attempt to use a real candle. 
you'll only end up burning your house down and blaming me for it. So please, please, please only use an LED candle. I hot glue the center of the top and then place it into my LED candle sideways, being sure that the battery compartment is accessible enough away from the glue in order to change out the battery when needed. Once you're glued, you're ready to go. Turn out the lights, turn on the candle, and you've now got yourself a DIY Halloween 6 jack-o'-lantern for less than 20 bucks. Far removed from the Trick or Street Studios versions, which were discontinued several years back and now go for thousands on eBay. And remember, this process will work for other jack-o'-lanterns as well, for any shape and size, for any carvable craft pumpkin, and with any other design as well. Just repeat the steps accordingly and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to film your results and link me to them. I want to see your finished products. Happy Halloween everyone.